Hello students of grade 11. Today's lesson will be on determiners. What is a determiner? A determiner is a word that introduces a noun. It always comes before a noun, never after, and it also comes before an adjective that has been used to describe a noun. For example, this pencil or this colorful pencil. Determiners are required before a singular noun but are optional when it comes to introducing plural nouns. For example, consider the placement and usage of the common determiner the in these sentences. The dog ate a bone. I ate the chocolate cake for dessert. In every example, the determiner is placed before the noun or noun phrase regardless of whether the noun in the subject or predicate. In the first example, it comes directly before the noun, but in the second example, it comes before the adjective. Determiners are optional for plural nouns and noun phrases. When you want to discuss the noun in general, you don't need a determiner for plural nouns. Look at this example. Metal cans are recyclable. This next example shows you how you may add a determiner to refer to specific nouns. The metal cans are recyclable. There are four different types of determiners in English. Articles, demonstratives, quantifiers and possessives. Articles are among the most common of the determiners. There are three singular articles, a, an and the. Articles specify or determine which noun the speaker is referring to. A and an are indefinite articles and are used when you are talking about a general version of the noun. For example, a dog is a good pet. When your meaning is general, use an indefinite article. Note that a is used before words that begin with consonants while an is used before words beginning with vowels. So we would say a pen and an egg. On the other hand, the is a definite article, meaning the speaker is referring to a specific noun. For example, we went to the best restaurant in town. The dog is barking too loudly. Here, the speaker is referring to a particular dog and a particular restaurant. It is not a general category, but only one animal or place that's important. When your meaning is specific, use a definite article. Demonstrative pronouns are also used as determiners in English. There are four of them, this, that, these and those. Demonstratives are used in a situation in which the speaker can point to the item they mean, making them even more specific than a definite article. For example, do you want this slice of cake? I don't want that dress. These glasses are dirty. Those boys are naughty. This and these refer to items nearby and that and those refer to items that are far away. This and that are singular while these and those are plural. Quantifiers are determiners that indicate how much or how little of the noun is being discussed. They include words such as all, few and many. For example, he took all the books. Few diseases come to those who stay healthy. Many children are taught by that teacher. When referring to a noun that belongs to someone or something, you can use possessive pronouns to show ownership. Possessive pronouns include my, your, his, her, its, our and their. For example, where is your car? The dog growled and showed its teeth. My best friend is Santush. Which one is his house? Honesty is the best quality. The tree shed its leaves. This is our home. Let's now look at Unit 6 revision point in your pupil's book 
on page 60. They have introduced you to some determiners and have even given some examples towards the end of the note. Let's turn to page 61, activity 3, and do the exercise together. Copy these sentences into your book and underline the determiners. The vacation we spent in Norelia was wonderful. My uncle works in that factory. She is the lady I saw at the village market yesterday. Mr. Sumanasena can speak many languages. Which house is yours? This work is very easy. Any child can do it. The more you use these determiners when you speak and write, the more you will master the art of using them appropriately in sentences. I hope this lesson was useful to you. And if you wish to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.